What an awesome morning this has been so far. I've really enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun. I figured I'd try something a little bit different today. Uh, usually when I go out with my camera, I've got a very specific goal in mind, uh, very specific objectives, whether that's exploring an area, looking for uh, an animal to photograph, or uh, most of the time when I go out, I've got you know, very specific image in my head that I want to create. And so I, you know, I work all day or for multiple days uh, trying to get that, that image. And uh, today, like I mentioned, I figured I'd try something a little bit different and just get out into nature without any expectations or specific goals. Uh, take a day off, essentially, is what I'm doing. So it's very foreign concept to me. I, I can't remember the last time I've done this, just getting out into nature without a specific goal. And it's been very relaxing for me this morning. And that's the whole idea. I've been putting in some pretty long days lately and I'm just, I'm exhausted. So I figured I would just get out here and enjoy my time in nature again without specific goal or objective in mind. And it's been very nice. Uh, I took my kayak out, paddled along this uh, lake shore here and I saw a bunch of ducks, just had fun watching them, uh, didn't take any pictures or anything, uh, just had fun watching them. And I noticed in some of these trees here that there's been uh, some large nests, so I'm gonna check some of those out, see if there's anything nesting in them. And there's been a lot of red-winged blackbirds out, got some pictures of those. I'm pretty excited about some of them actually. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's just been good to get out and not have, you know, expectations in mind. And uh, just, you know, relax and enjoy the sights and sounds. It's been awesome. I'm going to get some breakfast now. I'm pretty hungry. And uh, then I'm going to keep going, check out some of these nests here, see what we can find. And uh, if we don't find anything, that's fine. I'm just out here in nature loving it. So. Let's get some breakfast and we'll keep going after that. Just listen to that. Got those frogs, birds, it's just having a lot of fun. I love those frogs in the spring when they start coming out. It's, uh, yeah, it's just fun to listen to them. You know, my time this morning with the uh, red winged blackbirds, that was awesome. So as I started off this morning, I heard them everywhere. You know, there's reeds just lining the shore of this lake and there's uh, those red winged blackbirds just everywhere in those reeds. So I was able to find some as the sun was coming up and it was really cool this morning because it was pretty cold. It was pretty chilly this morning. So I was on this side, I had the birds here, and then the sun was coming up behind them. So I had some really cool backlight to work with. And uh, as that sun was coming up, the males would come out and they would do their call. And because it was cold enough and the sun was behind them, you could actually see the breath uh, coming out of their mouth. So I got some video of that, got a couple pictures as well, really happy about them. 
I haven't really photographed red winged blackbirds before, but it's been something I've been wanting to photograph for a while now. So uh, I'm really happy with the pictures that I got. Uh, there's, I I'm surprised at how much wildlife there is in this area though. You know, those birds, I've seen tons of ducks, I saw some uh, kill deer out here, and they've been hanging out in a pretty consistent area, so I wonder if they're going to be using that for nesting. And uh, in the mud everywhere on the lake shore, it's just covered in tr uh, raccoon tracks. Um, so I I'm surprised at how much wildlife there seems to be out here. Uh, I'd love to find out where those raccoons are hanging out during the day to get some pictures, because that's another animal I've been wanting to photograph for uh, quite a while now. Um, I keep hearing something in the brush back here, so um, I might go check that out. It might be a skunk or a raccoon, I don't know. But uh, yeah, just lots of cool wildlife around. Uh, I saw some fox tracks in the mud too, so that would be cool to see and photograph sometime. But um, yeah, I'm just finishing my oatmeal right now. The frog stopped, I wonder if there's something out there. Um, yeah, I'm just finishing my breakfast right now and then I'm gonna check those nests out and see what else we can find. And uh, yeah, keep going. one of the nests that I was wanting to check on this morning. This is the third one I've been able to find and check on. Uh, two of them didn't have anything, and one of them actually had a hawk sitting in it, which was really cool. I wasn't able to see what kind of hawk. As soon as I saw the bird in there, I backed off, got out of the area. It's a very sensitive time for nesting birds, and I didn't want to bother it. So uh, I'm just glad to know that there is uh, an active nest in the area. I'll uh, come back at a later time, set up a blind so I can photograph it and get some video, hopefully uh, without bothering the, the birds. It's just been a fun morning though. I had so much fun with the red-winged blackbirds and it's been good to see all the other animals in the area and all the signs of the other animals, all the footprints and everything. Uh, there's so much wildlife in this area, it's been awesome. I've still got quite a ways to paddle to get back to my vehicle and the sun's getting really high so I'm going to start heading back and uh, call it a day. What an awesome morning it's been though. I need to do stuff like this more often for sure. Uh, until next time though, I appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you next week.
womp womp.